hey there, I've been looking for you all day. So a while back, I was doing street photography while I was staying in England. And the results were amazing. Some of the reactions I got were priceless. I'm currently in Norway, I want to do the same thing, but it's a bit more of a challenge. It's not that we Norwegians aren't cool, it's just that when you take a Norwegian and you point a camera to the face, they usually go, uh, what do you think you're doing? So to pull this off, I need a plan. But luckily, I got one. Tomorrow, there will be this big cultural event where I live. It's gonna be flashy lights, lots of performances, it will potentially lure out thousands of people out in the streets. And hopefully, they'll bring their happy faces. And if they do, we'll be there and we'll shoot them with the camera. We'll, we'll shoot them with the camera. It's, uh, it's standard photography language, not to be confused or, or, or taken out of context. But uh, yeah, that's, um, that's, that's the plan. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, the plan is set, okay? Nothing can go wrong. I don't know about that. There's a lot of things that can go wrong, but uh, well, you know what? We'll just see. We'll just see. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, they work. This one is cool. See, while all the people are moving throughout the stage, I'm just going the opposite direction because I want to get some people on the other side. Just that, if I got that. Oh, I got that. That's perfect. That's perfect. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Get more of these, please. You can just look on the side, please. There we go, perfect. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. I hope. I got so, okay. Okay. At one point, I wanted to go to the front row, but by that time, 20,000 people had gathered around. It was damn near impossible. So what I did was, I took my camera in front of me, and I just started going, hey, excuse me. People just automatically think that, oh, he must be working for the press. So they just start making way, and I was gliding my way through the front row. After a few minutes, I decided to go all the way to the back and I found myself this spot where I couldn't see anything. But there was a reason for that. I knew something that most people didn't. It was gonna be fireworks. But the fireworks was coming from the right. So when I'm standing here, I have a clear view of the sky. And then this happened. When the show was over, everybody walked away in the same direction. So I turned around and I started shooting. Finally somewhere I can go. La 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 la. At this point, I wanted to go inside, but as you can see, I was not the only one with that thought. And to be honest, I don't think I'd ever seen this place this crowded before.
Hey. Turn off. I know all of these photos just went out of focus, but you can still see the energy through the blurred image. And I, I mean, I like it. It's, uh, look, I'm not trying to be glamorous with the photos or anything. I'm just having fun, you know? When I was walking home that night, something extraordinary happened. I managed to get this photo of the Queen of Norway entering her hotel. Just a story behind it that I, by accident, happened to be in the right place at the right time just gives this photo some weight to it and I couldn't go wherever I wanted to go there was a lot of security what an amazing way to end the day if you enjoyed this video I hope you did make sure you go down and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments down below and uh, if you go down there if it's empty it's your responsibility to do something about it okay thank you and with that I'm leaving <laughs>